Hey everybody, Weekend Modder here with a quick video. Uh, I've been getting some reports from people who have picked up on the Pico Flasher's ability to do 4 gig read writes having some issues uh, with getting the console to actually read. They're getting a message in JRunner like not found or not able to identify. And so I did a little bit of troubleshooting this evening and playing and uh, this pattern that I've updated the Pico Flasher page on WeekendModder.com. So if you go to WeekendModder.com and then you hit the miscellaneous drop down, the Pico Flasher info page, uh, at the very bottom of the diagrams is the Corona 4 gig reading diagram. And I've now got a set of uh, steps here that kind of highlight for me what was the most reliable way to get the thing to read. And so um, essentially it boils down to have the wires hooked up to the Pico, then uh, open JRunner kind of first thing before you do uh, the standby power and before you connect the USB to the Pico. And then when you click on read NAND, we seem to be getting good reads that way. Uh, one other quick thing to mention here is that if you're having difficulty with soldering to it, you might find a new product that I'm adding to the website tonight here interesting. This is a set of custom cables that I had manufactured to work with both the SPI uh, NAND read write, so FATS and SLIMS, 4 gig, or excuse me, uh, 16 megabyte, 256 megabyte Jaspers, uh, or 512 megabytes, and then also a cable for the 4 gig read write here. So they come packaged up uh, with a little bit of pin header here, and you'll recognize the Pico uh, just like on the diagram here. Uh, is got pin header soldered into the spots here. So this pin header and then uh, these up here, right, correspond to what I've what I've got. So you'll get those little bits of pin header included along with the custom cable set here. So you can just orient it like the colors on the diagram, and it's just that easy. You just plug it right in and plug it right in. So I'm going to demo real quick reading a console and doing a 4 gig install with this wire set real fast. So I'm actually going to start with this wire set disconnected and I'm going to slide the console right in and do this live just to show you how quick and easy it makes it. These uh, pin headers that are on the end here make it really nice um, to solder to these pads here. So let's get in for a close up and get this done. All right, so step number one here, uh, Flux is your friend, and you definitely don't want to be without Flux on an install like that. So uh, some solder Flux paste goes down, and then I like to use the iron just kind of to melt it, and then to put a good, goodly little amount, kind of extra of solder, on each of the pads that I'm going to be soldering to here. So if I end up with a little bit of a puddle of solder over the pad, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So those are the ones we need to do. And I am just referencing the diagram as I go through here. So uh, red over here to pad 16. And it's color coded just like the diagram. Now one thing um, I'll point out that you should definitely do is if you use the same installation method like I'm doing right now and you have these wires kind of up on an angle. If I was to push, let me see if I can show you how they're tilted up. If you were to push down on those right now, you would break those pads off. So you want to be uh, supremely careful at, at that point that you're not going to jerk on these wires, on these pads. They're, they're relatively fragile. Um, so do keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Yellow up here to this one and then the last one and these are the trickiest ones because they are super close together there we go and then off the other uh, wiring set right the one that goes off the right side you notice how in the 4 gig diagram there's one green wire, so that is the one from the header, and it comes up over here to where is indicated in the diagram. So now, I'm going to follow my own advice here. I'm going to back the camera up real quick. That was just how quick we did that install. 
I'm going to put the black wire towards the bottom on the left side here. So we've got both sets hooked up and then all of these are disconnected from the right side. These are used when you're doing the SPI install so they're not connected to anything right now. And so give me just one second let me tilt this console and get the uh, standby power hooked up or ready to hook up rather. So I like the length on these is pretty nice. You can get the Pico outside of the case so it's just sitting there on its side, not touching anything metallic, right? So what we want to do is open JRunner kind of first thing. So I'm going to open up JRunner Pro over here. All right. And so I've got JRunner open and then I'm going to apply standby power to the console and then now I'm going to hook up my USB to my Pico flasher and it's just sitting back there and then pop back into JRunner and click read NAND and bam there it is I already had a NAND read in there but we are starting to read the 4 gig console so if you're having difficulty, that ordering is the most important thing that I've found. When you get things out of order, you plug and unplug power, you plug and unplug the USB, that seems to throw things off. So again, connect up your wires to your Pico, um, do the JRunner open first, then apply standby power, then connect the USB, then click read NAND and JRunner, and uh, that will get you going and reading the NAND. So, if you uh, feel like supporting this sort of content and you're interested in one of these wire sets, pop over to weekendmodder.com store and you can pick those up. Thanks.